Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny and Medic. Just want to give you a little bit of insight here on the flu since it's all over the news right now. Just kind of give you some information to kind of help you out. And some cool facts that I learned from like the Mayo Clinic website, things like that, about how long the flu survives on your hands, how long it survives on money, how long it survives on hard surfaces. So some pretty cool uh, things I learned there. And then I want to tell you the number one way you can stop the spread of the flu. So uh, the flu, is mainly spread by the droplets that come out of your mouth like when you sneeze cough or even talk so those droplets come out and then they fall so usually within less than six feet so that's the kind of distance you want to stay the safe zone away from sick people because if they cough sneeze in public things like that then it goes six feet and it falls so let's talk about how long it lasts on certain objects so you can have the flu virus a full day before you actually start showing signs and symptoms of having the flu so you catch it one day and then it's the very next day when you start showing a fever, other signs of having the flu. Also, on that same note, you're contagious up till 24 hours post having a fever. So if you're still running a fever, but you're kind of downhill slide, you're still contagious. So you want to stay away from people, groups, things like that for a full 24 hours after you stop running a fever. So the flu virus can live about 48 hours on hard surfaces such as the keyboard, cell phone, countertops, knobs, shelves, things like that, 48 hours. I read one study that said that the flu virus can stay on the paper money for 72 hours. There was even a type A strain that stayed on the money for 17 days. So the experts say the flu virus lasts about five minutes on our hands, which isn't really long, but statistically, you're gonna touch your eyes, nose, mouth, something like that within that five minutes. So this is why the spread is so easily when we shake hands, things like that. So washing our hands is super important during flu season. So the flu virus can be killed by super hot water, but unfortunately it's too hot for us to touch. Um, it looks about 167 degrees uh, that you're gonna have to use to kill it. So this is where soaps and things like that, good cleaners are gonna come into handy. Um, so washing your hands with good soapy water for at least 20 seconds is going to decrease your chance of getting the flu tremendously. If you're around someone who's sick and you're in a small enclosed environment, such as the ambulance, you should put an N95 mask on them and you wear N95 masks as well because those droplets are within six feet. So if you're within close proximity of someone, like taking their blood pressure, things like that, those droplets absolutely can get on you. So hand washing, super important during this, and wear an N95 mask if you're gonna be really close to someone. Hand washing with warm soapy water for 20 seconds is gonna be the gold standard here. But if you don't have access to that, then the alcohol-based uh, lotions and cleaners, things like that you can rub your hands on, those work, but just try to wash your hands as soon as possible. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder, in the right gear, and the right training.